Hello everyone, so as you know by now, I have recently moved out of uh, my old home, uh, like a few hours away from here, and it has been a full-on year since I've had my own room. This is very exciting for me because I never had our own room. I had to share a room with my brothers, and now that I have my own space and my own stuff in here, I think it's finally time I give you guys a room tour and what <laughs> what it's like to have a room basically even though i know you guys do so let's start off from the entrance right here so you know pretty standard a door i mean is this and uh, there's these my little cousins made these for me i love my cousins they're so cute and i don't know where i got i think i got this from high school i'm not really too sure then over here uh, we got some new stuff here um that's my new school schedule for college i'm very excited but also kind of terrified because it's college you know it's very intimidating over here we got a painting i made about four to five years ago when i was taking art classes from another guy that i knew uh that's an old poster for what final curtain was going to be <laughs> and then i had to scrap the entire idea because i was not made of money back then and then you know this is for um because my family is a big fan of the dodgers they want me to have at least one thing dodgers related in my room so now, I, now i'm forced to keep this but I, i'm pretty okay with it then over here we got this little thing it's from um, it's part of the cap for when i graduated i'm gonna keep this and also these uh also from graduation you know where they have the little money thing on there basically yeah that's what it, that, that's what those are over here we got some clothes in my my closet so you know sweaters tank tops or you know button-up shirts uh karate suit or karate robe and pants i don't know i don't know what i plan to do with that i mean i'm not really into karate anymore i mean i kind of quit basically i might go back but i'm not too sure over here we have my gown from graduation too and my tuxedo that i wore during prom i will always cherish that up here we got the box for the statue that I have on my desk. I don't plan on throwing the box out pretty soon, but if it comes to that point, then I'll most likely throw it out. Uh, a Freddy mask. You guys probably recognize it for a while because I've made this for like five, five, five years ago. Again, I'm not really too sure. Over here is just some random stuff. Uh, this is just laid out up here because I don't know where to put it, but I will probably find spots to put it. Then some PS4 games, some DVDs. I got two copies of Willy's Wonderland right here. Karate trophy, if you guys don't know, like I said, I used to be in karate, and I also have a certificate. It's also back there, but I can't show you guys because it has my name on it. I don't want to show it yet. Foxy and Freddy plushie, uh, they're both wearing hats because why not? That bag is, has some of the props in there and also some of the equipment that I use. These boxes are from my tablet stuff, so I probably plan on throwing those out because I don't really need the boxes. I don't know why I have them. Ugh. You guys probably don't know this, but I'm recently becoming a guitarist or a guitar player. I'd be happy to show you guys some uh, tunes in a bit. Probably near the end of the video. Got some shoes. Not really good ones, but you know, they're shoes. We got the Funko plushies all in here. These are all where they all hang out. Uh, so they all hang out in there. There's Sun and Moon, the two recent ones I got. Over here, we got the McFarland stuff. Well, half of it on top of my dresser. Because, you know, I got undies, some shirts, and then these two are shirts, and these two are shorts and pants. Well, the pants are now up here because I had to rearrange everything because I sold most of my clothing to my grandparents for a garage sale. But yeah, uh, McFarland stuff. It's kind of a shame that they stopped selling these because I wanted to complete my collection, but I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'll probably still keep them and probably, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. It might come to the point where I sell them at this point. But I don't know. Maybe I might sell them for hundreds of dollars because that's what people are doing right now. So whatever. <laughs> uh, I got this at a carnival. Uh, it's pretty cool. It, uh, the person was a cartoonist. So they, they basically did one of those, uh, you know, they give you like these realistic faces and then your body's like whole cartoony and look, there's Monty. <laughs> got a fan right here. You know, I don't really need it on because the air is on right now. So I don't really need it. Here's my bed. Um, you guys might notice that my room looks a little different because I actually rearranged it not too long ago because uh, I wanted to make room for when I play VR and stuff. So the Oculus and the PlayStation. So I made room for everything. Dresser was originally over here with all the other McFarlane stuff. 
So I moved it over here. I screwed the bed horizontally and I'll show you the guys the rest, but yeah, I, I had to rearrange my room. Well, I chose to rearrange it because it looked really crowded in here. So now it looks less crowded in here. So there's a lot more room in here. Down here, we got the custom stuff. So here's all the miscellaneous stuff, of course, with some of the ECU and there's the glitch trap monster stuff. There's mexes or the entity, whatever you guys want to call them. And then over here is the ECU bucket is where I keep all the characters that are part of the ECU. These guys are, they're, they're very important to me. I adore them and I will cherish them forever. And then over here is the Mario stuff. You know, um, you know Mario, Donkey Kong, Bowser Jr., Bowser, Wario, Waluigi, Yoshi. That's a big Yoshi though, he's thick. All right. And uh, I believe Luigi's in there too. Here's the other half of the McFarland stuff. So what I plan on doing is taking down these shelves and kind of like replacing them with bigger shelves, like kind of like big ones, like um, like made out of wood and metal, kind of like replacing them. And what I want to do now, like later down the line, is get like shelves that go up to the ceiling kind of, and then put most of the plushies, like kind of the Funko plushies, put them up there. Kind of like how other people have been doing in their rooms. And this is my tablet. You guys know I've been editing on that thing. I love it. It's a better strategy than editing on a phone because it's more crowded on there. Got another blanket. I don't know why, but I just have it. So yeah, this is all the miscellaneous stuff. Count the Ways, Funtime Freddy, Fred Bear, like er basically everything that's miscellaneous is in here, including the reboot Glam Rocks. I keep them because they're cool. I like them. You know, I'm not gonna throw them away. So then my blanket goes back up here. It's actually a cushion for electronics and stuff. So like the iPad, it's like on a cushion. So I don't know, it's just there. My nasty clothes. I do I do laundry myself now. I don't let others do my laundry because I like to do my own laundry. It teaches me how to be more responsible for my stuff. Got a Willy's Wonderland poster right here with good old Nick Cage. So I gotta be really careful because these magnets that I bought, they're really, like really fragile when it comes to sticking to the wall for some reason they're like really really weak so i just try not to touch this poster at all because then the whole poster will come down and then the magnets get stuck behind the bed so it's a pain in the ass to get them out and yeah as you guys know i designed this poster myself it's pretty rad i love this poster so much and i noticed that this is off but it was too late for me to finally realize it and now my OCD is kicking in and my perfectionist value is now off. But yeah, pretty sick poster. All right, now we're going to where all the magic happens. This is where I love to hang out in my room. This area is my favorite. So if you guys don't remember, uh, this is my sewing stuff, like sewing stuff, crafting stuff, everything. It was originally out there in the garage, but it's such a pain to walk back and forth to get something. So. Oh, excuse me. So what I did was I had to empty out everything, put them in baggies, and then I had to move this thing in this room. And then I rearranged everything, including the fabrics, which was a pain because there was so much little scraps everywhere. I'm glad I finally fixed it because it was a mess on the top shelf. So then down here, we got the threads, some McFarlane stuff in here paint even though I hardly use it I spent like $12 on this and I didn't realize how small they were so I'll go with my bat on that and down here's I don't know I got I gotta buy like separators or something I, I don't know what's in here but I'll probably empty it out and just put whatever's there shove it in here and here's the plush patterns that you guys won't stop asking me for because I told you guys how many times that you guys can do this yourself like it's not hard and then down here stuffing the, the don't worry about that i'm trying to take my permit test even though i failed like twice already uh nintendo 3ds bag fnaf keychain even though i don't really need it anymore because i'm done with high school and that's a nintendo switch carrier so yeah that's my shelf thing i guess i don't know what to call it honestly and then all this stuff is kind of school stuff but i don't really need these notebooks I only need this in my sketchbook. Over here we got the statue, the uh, Foxy and Freddy Pop. This one was given to me by my cousins and they did not take really good care of it. So it's in rough shape, but Foxy was already in rough shape. So yeah, got a healthy, medium sized healthy. Still love this guy. He's pretty pog. 
We got a FNAF Monopoly and a Mario Kart Monopoly. My grandma got me both of these for Christmas. I don't know why, but you know, it's pretty cool. I like it. Over here, we got something from Super Nintendo World when I went there on my birthday. Still one of the best experiences of my life. So that was a $20 poster. And then recently I had to take down the other poster because it was not in the best of shape. It was getting old, it was getting ripped up. So I went ahead and go to FYE at the mall and I got myself a new FNAF poster, even though I hate FNAF AR, it's not, it's not fun. And it just got kind of repetitive. So, you know, I just have this as a replacement poster and it's nice, I like it. Got myself a pretty nice poster frame. And with that, I put in a Mario movie poster in there. So what I plan on doing uh, is kind of like putting this poster probably as a replacement for that poster because I don't know, I don't know, I'll figure it out. And then put in a poster for Battle of the Multiverse, which I will not reveal what it is yet until Multiverse Dangerous is out. Then over here, we got some stuff that I, I don't know, it's kind of boring stuff. You got the FNAF novels, the main four plus Freddy Files. And then you got the entire Fazbear Fright series, sketchbook, security logbook, and then you got the graphic novels in here. Pretty good, I love them. This used to be a lamp thing, but the batteries ran out. We, we replaced them, but then it stopped working. So this is just here for decoration now. And then we got the wristbands from Universal, uh, Nintendo World, and then the Nintendo games that I have. So yeah, this is kind of like Nintendo section. And then I have this thing. I made this myself. It's a case carrier for my games. Then we got two of the bag holders for the Nintendo Switch. This one's old. This one's been here for years. Well, this one's recently and I love it even more because the design is so sick. My brother's friend got it for me for my graduation. So that's pretty nice of him. And then we got this. Uh, you guys are probably familiar by now, but this is what I have now. These are epic lights. I think they're sound reactive too. Ah! Ah! Yep, they're sound reactive. Okay, so you can basically change the settings to light, blue, color, rise. Uh, they have Valentine theme, which is probably sad because I never get a Valentine. I'm, I'm lonely. Merka, Halloween. Grima, Grimas, Grimas, and then and you change color. Yeah, so pretty pog. Right here is where I sit. Uh, this chair sucks. I don't like sitting in this chair because I get stuck. And then there is this time where I actually fell from, yeah, from doing that. So I think, I think about replacing a lot of stuff in this room, getting a new chair, getting new shelves, and then down here, we got the PlayStation VR all hooked up. I re hooked it recently, and I've been playing Rec Room nonstop and FNAF Hub 1 nonstop recently. And Funtime Freddy is the most annoying mini game in that game, and it's so annoying. So we got the controllers, coloring book, I don't use it anymore. And those two books back there are my yearbooks. PlayStation 4 probably won't be used for anymore because uh, apparently Sony doesn't like the PS4 anymore. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with it afterwards probably sell it I'm not too sure then over here we got my bean bag Ugh, this thing is comfy so basically it's a massageable bean bag but it's not plugged in I mean I don't really care if it's not plugged in I still like to sit in it most of the time this is mostly where I sit and edit you know just so like I'm not sitting on the bed because it's very uncomfortable to edit while on there so I just sit down on here I have something to drink right here and then if I'm feeling like my back is all messed up I can just turn this on and just, uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so now it's time for updates after I gave you guys a room tour of what my headquarters looks like. I really look like Pedro Pascal. Put, put like an image of Pedro Pascal right here. I don't know, I feel like I look like him. I don't know. Okay, so both Feel the Thunder and Multiverse Dangers are in very, very slow production, but trust me, it's all gonna be worth it because the soundtrack for Multiverse Dangers is freaking fire. It sounds really great and I'm trusting the minds of Mark and Ian and Mask Violinist for working on the score. I'm very excited. Meanwhile, Typo is working on the Field of Thunder uh, soundtrack, although he's on a vacation right now, so I gotta respect it. You know, he needs a break from time to time and, you know, we all need that break. So, you know, I was really respectful. I was like, 
Yeah, sure. Go ahead, take a break. You know, come back refreshed and ready to go when you get back. <laughs> so yeah, uh, those two things are very slow in production at the moment. Um, that, that, that's pretty much it. But yeah, um, I'll give you guys some updates here and there, but content-wise, we'll shift and change. Series finale will be coming out, but I feel like I'm going to change it a whole lot because... I think something way too dark would be too dark for the audience, and I don't think that's a good idea. But you guys will see the main villain, which I will not reveal who he is. I want to keep that a mystery. And Feel the Thunder and Multiverse Dangerous updates will be available on Community Post. You guys will see some bits of artwork on the Community Post. So everything won't be silent, but you guys will see bits of content here and there, such as the animation, ECU shorts, you know, all that stuff. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this little update and groom tour video and I'll see you guys later.